Okay, boys, have a cold break. Take one step back. Don't throw punches to the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, boys. Our second world title fight of the evening, the first one, the WBO World Bantamweight title, ended in 11 seconds. Yes, 11 seconds. Zelani Tete knocking out his South African fellow countryman, Sibonisa Gonya. What will happen this time? Anker Haas from the Philippines, a big favourite, but Jamie Conlon, what an opportunity. Kind of a boxing cliche, but if he pulls this off, it is a life changer. He needs the performance of his career and the performance of his life here. John does Jamie Conlon, but he has got the grit and determination. He's been hurt before and he's come through it, but he's got to put in the performance tonight. It's got a marginal height and reach advantage, Conlon. He's having to cope with Anker Hass, who's a south four, as you see, leading off with that right hand. Interestingly, Conlon's been sparring, preparing for this extensively with brother Michael, who's a, a rising young talent, and Michael's been boxing south four with him. Yeah, Michael's a very talented boxer indeed, uh, Michael Conlon, and he can box as good as a, a safe boy as he can orthodox so i think that would be good sparring for jamie Conlon and his brother michael absolutely spine well. tingling atmosphere here reverberating around this sse arena here the support for jamie Conlon. had some extraordinary battles of course to get to this point jamie Conlon had a fight against a guy called junior granados back in 2015, which is one of the most extraordinary fights that you'd ever see. Is he going to have to produce something of similar intensity here? Danny Vaughan, his trainer, told me that the tactic has to be to try and box this man, try and keep it long, don't get into a toe-to-toe -to -toe brawl. Nice little chopping right hand there from Conlon. Oh, there. Oh, what's happened here? Well, what's happened here? He's gone down for something. I honestly couldn't see what happened there. No, nor me, John. Delayed reaction. And his leg, I think one of the, he's got a problem with his leg. He has got a problem with his leg, hasn't he? His, his lead leg. Is his knee gone? He just sank to the canvas. A delayed reaction. Well. It's I going to be interesting well, to try and determine exactly what happened there. I don't think it was from a punch, was it? I don't believe so. But is I, it think, I think he leg? might have twisted his knee, Richie. Yeah, something very rare. Well, if it were a, a football match, you'd say, give it a go and try and run it off. A bit different here. <laughs> But he said, didn't he, at the start, that he's going to try and box at distance. That was the tactic. He's got to try and trigger the attacks off from, from Anker Haas and then come back with his counters. But if he's got a problem with that lead leg, then he may have a problem then of actually coming well, back and countering. But Let's see if we can hear when he gets back into the corner exactly what the problem is, because he'll tell Danny Vaughan straight off. So I'll shut up the moment that bell goes and let's see if we can make sense of it. Well, here's where it happened, Richie. It's very, very difficult to see. I mean, whether he, I don't think it's a punch. Is it? He, he gets clipped there just to the side, but... Well, that's very strange indeed. We thought it was the, the leg. I think he's got... It might be his right hand. Well, that was mystifying, but we go now into the second round. I think Anker Haas was probably winning the round anyway, wasn't he? Just about, just, and just, with the involuntary yeah, going down. It. So I guess that'd be scored 10 8. I think so, Johnny. He probably just nicked the round, and then with the count as well, then probably a 10 8, which is really unfortunate for, for Conlon now. It was delayed reaction, wasn't it? And it looked as though he had a problem with his right leg. How much confidence now remains for the task in hand? It's 
good work from Conlon. Just getting the timing right there, Conlon. Again, opting to box at distance and waiting for his opponent to come in. He's just got to get his timing right as Anker Haas comes over that front foot, closes the gap down. That's when he's got to try and bring him onto the shots, but he's got to have fast reactions to do it, quick reflexes, and he's got to be accurate with the punches that he throws. Big step up in class this from anything Conlon has faced before. And it was always a question mark about whether or not he'd have the power to keep Anker Haas at bay. Clash of heads there. He comes and just waiting there, he's waiting for his opponent to come forward. That's why he just occasionally you see him just faint with that jab. But Anka has now is on that front foot, beating Conlon to the punches. But Conlon, I can see what he's trying to do there. He's just fainting with that jab and trying to trigger the attack off from Anka Haas. That was one round the back of the head, he's going to get in trouble for that. Oh, and there's a cut. Conlon is cut, left eye. Oh dear, and it's a bad one. Blood seeping from that damage around the left eye. And the cacophony which was greeting Anker Haas in the first round has been somewhat deadened now. Conlon has been down back end of that first round and is now cut, and it looks as though quite badly cut. The problems keep mounting, don't they, for Conlon? But he, he has come through similar situations when he's been hurt here and there. But this is a mountain to climb now. Real test of character for young Jamie Conlon. Ancas is so cool and methodical in the way he goes about his work. Belfast's faithful Conlon's fans trying to raise the man. But it's another clear round for the Filipino. Yeah, the crowd, John, think they can sense that their man needs a little bit of help here. Danny Vaughan saying you've got to weather the storm. It was a clash of heads, we think, there that caused the damage to the eye. There's the punch to the back of the head. But that, that didn't cause the cut. That punch to the back of the head, I think it was definitely a head clash. There's blood spattered across our notes here at ringside. It's blood from the eye of Jamie Conlon. A great daub of grease over that eye, which is wiped away. Oh dear. Wiped away by Steve Gray. Well, Conlon has had some remarkable comebacks in the past when he's seemingly been on the cusp of defeat. But this is a huge test now. Massive. It's a big test, most certainly. But he's just got to get his timing right. He's in against a, a, a good safe who's got a very good jab, who can box at distance himself, and who's fairly confident. But Conlon, if he's going to win this, he's got to trigger those attacks off and try and bring him onto that right hand and finish on the left hook. Anker has promoted by Manny Pacquiao. Philippines craving a new hero to follow in the footsteps of the great man. <laughs> He's just pecking away with that right-hand lead, the target, the damaged right eye, left eye. And Connors somehow John here's got to try and protect that eye, so he's got to keep that left hand a little bit higher. Anka has he's trying to come around the guard, isn't he? With his jab and long right hook. And try and target that that right, sorry, that left eye of Conlon. But that's better from Jamie Conlon there with the right hand. Anka has a patient sort of fighter. He doesn't quite have the firecracker explosiveness of the of a prime Manny Pacquiao, but he's mighty effective. Goodness. Solid straight right hand lead and followed up with the left hook. A 
and big body shots now. Conlon not having too much success in this third round. Oh, massive body shots again. Conlon, I thought by the time he was going to go down. Now a huge body shots coming in again, and this time he does go down. First shot was a good shot, wasn't it, for Conlon? He's a brave kid, though, John. He's on his feet. He's back up and down for the second time in the fight. Closing seconds of another huge round for the Filipino. More massive body chomps coming in. Is he going to go down again? No, he doesn't. Somehow manages to stay up. Wow. Just turned away with that one shot, didn't he? Hurt him to the body. Here it is. It's just a straight left hand. But Conlon then he recovers. But then that's the green light, then, isn't it, for Ancas just to target that body? And he just couldn't take that shot there. But that's the straight left, solar plexus. And then tried, here. Tried a bit of kidology, didn't he? To yeah. say it didn't hurt me, but of course, Ancas knew otherwise. So that's twice shots, down now. Yeah. Fourth round. IBF Super Flyweight Championship of the World. Jamie Conlon already has been down twice. Is Ankas going to go for the finish in this round? Well, he'll probably target the body again, won't he, Ankas? Inevitably. Conlon's just got to stay tight here now, stay at distance. Just try and wait for this fella to come forward. What he doesn't want to be doing now, Conlon, he's leading off and then falling short and Pro making Ankas come back with his counters, he's got a box intelligent on the outside and just wait for his man to come forward and try and bring him onto a shot. A problem, I guess, Richie, trying to protect that damaged eye, keeping the gloves up, and that's creating the opening which Ankas is exploiting to the body. Yeah, maybe so, John, but what he can't afford to do is, is, is go forward and, and, and overreach, and leave himself open. Tough job, but he's a tough kid, Jamie Conlon. Loads of bottle. Well, he's going to need to show absolutely everything that he's got. As I've said already, if you can turn this one around from here, it would be extraordinary. Good shot. Nice, solid right hand from Conlon. Oh, lovely punch at distance there from Conlon. Timing was good. And Castle already has been told once to keep his punches up. And he's targeting the body of Conlon once more. Clever boxing that was from Anker Haas, just switches, didn't he? With that right hook around the guard of Conlon. Patient and methodical. Yeah, he is patient, yeah, definitely. He's got to stay off the ropes, though, John, has Conlon. That right hand hurt Conlon again. Took the wind out of him. Now a big left hook. Here comes the big body attack again. Conlon's in trouble, in big trouble. The referee will want to see punches to come back. Somehow he's digging in there and manages to find a left hook. But these body shots are savage. Ancas on the attack, all Ancas at the moment. Conlon just looking, just trying to come back with the odd single shot, but he's got to get off those ropes. He is really hurting with this sustained body attack. And Ankahas is in complete command. <laughs> Left hand fell the, on the face of the Filipino, and again. Bit of reddening on his right cheek now. <laughs> Once more, the body shot. Conlon pulses the floor in frustration. Down for a second time. Is he going to get up this time? Is it eight? Is it nine? He's going to allow it to continue. It was very, very marginal, and the bell is gone. Oh, what a torrid night this is turning out to be for Jamie Conlon. Yeah, these body shots really taking the toll, aren't they, for Alvin Gangas? He's boxing very well, the Filipino. Good shots there, keeps Conlon on the ropes. 
just keeps the attack going. Conlon just trying to come back with that left hook there, wasn't he? And again, Buranka has sustained pressure, sustained attack. Three knockdowns now. Ooh. Conlon furious that he allowed. Move into the fifth. Ankahas way ahead on the cards. How brave is Jamie Conlon, though, John? Well, tough kid, brave, brave kid. It's hard to it's hard to think of somebody currently around who's got more fighting heart than Conlon. Too brave, if anything. It's a nice right hand. That Ankas completely unmoved by it. Still a bit of a mystery, John. That first knockdown, isn't it, in the opening round? What happened there? Whether it's affected the whole of his game plan? Jamie Conlon. To give credit to Ankerhas, a very accomplished boxer indeed, boxing well at range. He's got a very fast jab. Conlon now just trying to land that right hand as a counter. It's a measured left right hand, isn't it, from Ankerhas? Decent body shot there from Conlon, nice little left duck downstairs. So a bit of success in this round. Having a much better round here. Nice uppercut though from Ankars. And here comes the body shot again. And again. Referee saying that was too low, I think. That's the second warning he's had. Another one, and he'll get a point taken away, you suspect. Conlon will be given time. He says he's OK. just not able to find any real telling shots to halt the advance of Ankahas. I think... Oh, another one. Another big body shot. Now, is that low again? Now he's saying no knockdown. No knockdown, he's saying, now what's he going to do? He'll take a point here, won't he? I think surely he's got to. There have been two warnings, and if he's decided that's low, that's the third. It's not giving us a knockdown, and now what's the referee going to do? You can hear what the crowd wanted to do. Three times, and here it comes. The point is taken away. Sorry, he says. The crowd say, is that a turning point? Let's see if that gives a bit of encouragement now for Jamie Conlon. went down again. <laughs> Torrid round again for Conlon. This is why. That's that low shot, just, just below that belt area, belt line rather. Conlon really feeling it, really up against it. If Ankhouse won that round, that would be scored 9-9. Without the point deduction, that is. Sixth round, it's a 12 rounder, of course, the championship distance. The 
He's looking at the corner, Jamie Conlon's corner, they want him to come forward. But he's got to avoid that jab, hasn't he? Anka has very good with the straight shots as well. Straight jab, long, straight left hand. Down he goes again. Right hand this time. Conlon thinks it was around the back of the head, but it was more on the side of the head. Seven. Looking a little bit bemused, and he stopped it. It's all over. A brave effort ends there. A one-sided fight. Ankaas just too much. It was a step up in class, a step up in class, and it was just a step too far for the gallant, brave Jamie Conlon. A third defence of the title for Jerwin Ankaas, and he's still champion of the world.